I was just about ready to give up, but I saw a little dark figure out of the corner of my eye. So just as I'm getting ready to get out of the shooting house and go track this huge boar I just shot, I heard something going on. And I look up and to my surprise, the rest of the family had moved right on in. hogs one of them was really big and i heard, heard it crash through the brush so i'm pretty sure it's down and then a whole bunch of them came out and i think i shot another uh, medium sized boar so i'm gonna go down now and see if i can't find both of them okay let's go <laughs> I just shot a monster. A monster what? Two of them. I got a big giant boar and then another one. I just shot two boars. Oh my god. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I, so I have these LED lights that come on at night. And this okay, I don't really care, but so what's happening now? How are you going to get those out of there? I have help. I'll, I'll call Carmen and then her, her, her friend will come out and help me. Just give me a little bit, okay? I need to get down and get some stuff done. I'll call you right back. She love me again in the morning. good a blood sign right now i'm in the bushes right here but i heard it crash i'm telling you i think it was a really big boar i mean keep after it here just speck at a time i guess it's not the easiest place to track animals in the middle of the night because the the sand the the terrain seems to 
just suck up all the blood. It's getting late now, so let me get back on the track here. Just right there. There it is. There it is right there. Big boar. Huge boar with big tusks. Big tusker. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I got him. Well, you talk about an amazing hunt. I uh, set up these LED night lights um, several months ago and programmed the feeders to go off right at dark because everybody knows these hogs are nocturnal and uh, very, very smart. They don't get this big by being stupid. So uh, I decided I was just gonna try it out. Let me go see what, uh, what it's like and see if the system is uh, gonna work for me. And sure enough, uh, the furry first hog that came out was this great big hog here. Uh, we, we call him El Chicharron. And he came out and uh, I was trying to get him to uh, come out underneath the LED light so that I could actually film it. And I, you know, piddled around for a while and he ended up running back in the brush, so I never got a shot. But then all of a sudden, I started hearing a bunch of brush breaking and stuff and I could hear the whole herd coming in. Next thing you know, he comes in with the herd. And it's obviously breeding season. And uh, he stuck his head out behind this uh, little shrub over here and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on him in a few seconds later, he crashed back here in the brush, so I knew I got him. And then I went back to the uh, shooting house there and was just wrapping everything up. And about 10, 15 minutes later, the whole herd comes back in. I guess that corn was just a little bit too much for them to resist. And they came back in, and I decided to go ahead and shoot his mate also, because they're breeding like uh, like mice out here. So I went ahead and took his mate, and, and then some, as you can see there. So I'm very happy with this little harvest here today. All three of these... Uh, uh, hogs are going to the butcher first thing in the morning, so we're going to have uh, plenty of meat, but looks like I'm going to need a bigger freezer.